welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is carol tichi caribou <laughs> so today is 17th of september 2021 yes and i mean i don't know what to say <laughs> i haven't finished getting ready so i wanted to do my hair on here so today you're not wearing any earrings because you know we got this going on but if you want to check out my video i'll put it on the left on the left here <laughs> so if you're a content creator and you're always wondering like where to point use your left hand and just point up here <laughs> yes so um the products that i'm using this is rosemary water and uh, aloe vera juice okay and then this i've been trying to finish this my organics styling gel so those are the two refreshers my hair has been like this since my birthday vlog so it's been almost from sunday to friday that's most five days so i just want to refresh and do the hair with you so before this you guys have seen me make the waffles for breakfast i love 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 waffles so yeah so i bought that um it's called a snack maker so i made a snack mix i bought the snack maker just to test it out it has a lot of like components to switch all out this okay i bought it mainly for the grill and the waffles and we've been playing around with it especially with my niece we made some donuts and i don't know for me the donuts came out gimmicky so i wouldn't say that snack maker is for donuts there's another one they do have which is a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper that can work for donuts but this one mm -mm. but the it does make decent waffles so i'm not mad i'm yet to try out the grill and then we'll see if that whole thing is worth it yeah so I love waffles. I love waffles. I don't like pancakes because I don't like the time you have to stand there making pancakes. So that's why I love the waffle maker. Then you just put it in, give it some few minutes, take it out, and voila. And then you can also put the butter in the fridge. And then you just, in the morning, you just wake up, make it, and you're good. So I love waffles. So since I'm going to the CBD, I'm thinking, hey, let me go. We'll probably come back with some chicken nuggets and have chicken and waffles tomorrow. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. So I I haven't told you guys this as well, but for me, breakfast is my favorite, favorite meal of the day. Breakfast. I love everything morning. I'm a morning person, so everything that's being done in the morning, I love it. I love food in the morning. <laughs> I love working out in the morning, all that. So I'm such a morning person. By the time afternoon, evening comes, I am so drained. I'm done. I'm done for the day. But I guess it's also because morning for me symbolizes like, like a brand new beginning, like a fresh start, a fresh new start. If you messed up yesterday, today, and in the morning you feel like hmm today is the day to make it up or try something new <laughs> anyway so guys yes this is the hair i'm just doing some refreshing and also my twist over here hey right, guys see i have been lazy but okay but not so lazy because <laughs> i moisturize and all but yeah I have been retaining so much length. So we'll probably do a wash day. Probably tomorrow we'll do a wash day routine and then see. 
So let me let me speed this up and then I'll just come back to probably do the twist at the front, okay? So that I I get going. <laughs> if we are doing our here tomorrow, let's speed this up. <laughs> guys just watch shrinkage in action <laughs> you'll see this will shrink up till here by the end of the day okay so i've just decided to tuck in the ends because i'm not going to deal with it rubbing rubbing on my clothes and i want to protect my ends so maybe you can just have this action normally i just come and also tuck this one over here <laughs> but today let's let it hang yes so i don't know what plan we have for today so we are just going with the flow <laughs> Saturday, 18th of September 2021 and let me just tell you what happened yesterday my experience with the train ride <laughs> so first of all I've never done a commuter train ride within Nairobi so number one I didn't even know where you catch the train <laughs> number two it's because of all the stories you hear that you get pickpocketed. Yani you get into the train, like eighty percent of the time, not ninety, you're going to get out without your phone, without your wallet. So I was like, mm, I'm not taking any chances because back in the day, it used to get so packed, and the trains were so old. So anyway, fast forward to now, or oh, a couple of years back the train station was refurbished after like the coming of the the building of the, the 
construction of the SGR. So yeah, now the train, the railway stations are refurbished. They look really good. I like the toilets. I like the house. It's so well organized. But there you can't shoot there because when I was shooting, <laughs> I was stopped by a cop. The cop was like, um, "Are you taking a picture?" I was like, "No, no, sir." <laughs> but then I didn't take videos from then on. I just got in. I paid. Got in. I just took some few videos when I was actually inside the train, and then. When the train was moving so i think that is much better but in the actual train station it's i think it's forbidden <laughs> yeah so that so i just decided hey i've always wanted to take the train like the commuter train uh after it has been refurbished so i was like just randomly i was done with my errands i was like let me just go catch the train so i did and yeah like the sgr is way smoother than like the commuter trains commuter trains at some point we were like going like we were like i was like hey and then i'm looking around i'm like hey is this normal and then everyone else are just like mm. is someone some, some of them were just even sleeping <laughs> so i was like wow okay <laughs> so it was kind of rocky at some point and then it gets and starts going fast when it's going fast it's rocky yeah but huh ah. The experience was not bad at all it's very affordable there is zero social distancing <laughs> yeah but everyone was wearing a mask so that was good yeah and the good thing is that you get there on time so if you we left town at 6 p.m we got to my train stop at 6 23 so 23 minutes of but you end up avoiding traffic because it was during rush hour. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The SGR. I have gotten an SGR from Mombasa coming to Nairobi. And first of all, this train station at Mombasa is the worst in terms of like getting to the train station and getting out. But... The whole train experience is so good in terms of like the scenery. You get to see Kenya in a whole other perspective, different from when you catch a bus or when you catch a flight. Yeah. So I really enjoy the SGR experience. Apart from the seats. Oh, the seats are terrible. <laughs> but yeah, so I loved, I love train rides. <laughs> and would I do a commuter train again? Hmm. <laughs> yes and the reason is or okay i love train rides so that's the reason but what i do differently is i will not catch a train when it's at rush hour i'll just catch it when i'm not in a hurry and um i just to enjoy the experience because i don't want to be really close to people i like to just enjoy the the ride with as few people as possible <laughs> yeah so that was the experience when uh we were coming from town it was we were seeing a lot of um the industrial area part of nairobi so you see a lot of go downs a lot of like industrial things <laughs> so yeah that's the scene so the scenery is not that great maybe if I take a train a train to Kitengela, maybe I'll see it differently. Yeah, so um a train ride to Kitengela is definitely part of <laughs> my to-do list one of these fine weekends, and I'll take you guys with me, of course. So other than that, today is Saturday, so in a typical Kenyan household. It's cleaning day. <laughs> so we're going to do just that. We're going to do a lot of cleaning. And yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to wash my hair today or tomorrow. But the rest of the things, they're getting washed. <laughs> okay. So I'll let's do some cleaning. <laughs> Guys, so this is the first thing that needs cleaning. <laughs> like I've burnt it to the ground. And it stayed almost can say a year but i haven't been burning it every day so 
sometimes i used to just leave it open and the aroma the scent is really good so i usually use this to put my makeup brushes once i clean it out so let's clean this out
happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, 19th of September 2021. Yes. <laughs> and you can see I am already pre pooing. Yeah, this is pre poo already in my head. In my hair. <laughs> so, what I used was onion juice, okra gel, as always. <laughs> And then the mixture that I used the last time I washed my hair, which is in, I don't know, two weeks or three weeks ago. <laughs> the one I showed you guys in my one of the vlogs, it was done by Grace and Kaluki. I'll just put it somewhere here. You can see the recipe. So that mixed with okra and onion juice, onion and garlic juice is what I'm pre-pooing with. So what I'm going to wash my hair with, because today is basically wash day. <laughs> So I'll wash with this, the Sheba, 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 <laughs> the shampoo bar, um, I'll remove it, you guys will see. And then I have the Saru Organics Hair Growth Mask, this is what I'll use to deep condition. So yeah, this is the combination for today. <laughs> For today's wash day, let me open this up. You see, you see the shampoo bar that is what we are working with. The shampoo bar, so yeah, that's today's wash day. So, yesterday I didn't manage to finish everything. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So I woke up early, I did the laundry, the remaining part of the laundry, because yesterday it started raining, and that was it. It was a wrap. <laughs> and I haven't washed my makeup brushes, and also I haven't washed my, mopped my floors, <laughs> and also cleaned my full length mirror. I haven't talked about my bed, because there's still a lot that needs to be done with my bed. Currently, I'm sleeping on my 4x6 mattress. I need to get a 5x6 queen-size mattress. So that is a whole other story. <laughs> and then, like, to just spruce up this bed. So that is a whole other video. But when that video comes, I'll give you all the details about the bed, the mattress, and everything. Everything that I'll add. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, but for the mirror, you guys have seen snippets of the mirror here and there. The mirror is a full sheet mirror. So it's like when you go and buy the sheet, the whole sheet, how it comes from the factory, this is how it comes, like the full sheet. That's what I put on this side of the wall because, you guys, for like a year, I was just using the mirror on the sink. So I never used to see my whole full body. <laughs> And I gained weight. So I was gaining weight and I couldn't see myself. So I was like, ah, as in I'm not gaining weight because I couldn't see myself. <laughs> the moment I started seeing myself in the mirror, I'm like, like walking around and seeing myself like, who is that? <laughs> yeah. So I got a full length mirror just to like revenge the whole year that I couldn't see myself. So I decided, let me get a full length mirror. So that I'm going to clean that clean up the room clean up my makeshift vanity yeah so this video is this weekend vlog is turning out to be like a clean and organized with me kind of video which I mean <sighs> that's part of my life you know it's not always to na raha here there and there <laughs> all right guys so let me do that um oh, let me show you the hair so This is what we are working with. This said I did manage to finger detangle very well. I must say like her, that pre -poo has really helped. My hair was feeling really dry. I had forgotten that my Yell Organics, the gel, dries out my hair. I did a wash and go with it. I'll put it up here. Doom. So you can go check it out. I did a wash and go with it and I was not impressed. But I did do a hairstyle where my hair was stretched. And I did like it. So I'll also put it here for you guys to go see. But yes. 
which is the hair to the hair so it's well detangled finger detangled i mean i'm thinking of using a comb to finger detangle and finish it up so i'll wash put in a deep conditioner use my blow dryer to for some heat and then rinse it out style it all that yeah so i don't know if it will dry today <laughs> because we are already in the afternoon but yeah okay let me finish that let's do that let's do that guys <laughs> Okay, so I'm done finger detangling and I just wanted to come back, not finger detangling, I detangled with a comb and I wanted to show you guys all this came out. So don't exclusively finger detangle, at least start by finger detangling and then go in with a wide tooth comb. Look at all this. All this would have stayed in my hair causing lots and lots of tangles. So all this came out. I should have shown you guys what came out from the finger detangling. Mm, let me go get it. <laughs> okay, so this came out from finger detangling and this from comb detangling. It's kind of like the same size almost. So, yeah. This, my hair had webs. So, for me, I know webbing is from the free roaming shed hair in your head yeah uh, so plus i had stayed for a while without finger detail without washing my hair so yeah hair looks good now feels great because i can pass through my fingers and then the whole wash day process will be a breeze okay 